Huffington Post is reporting on an issue involving the DEA, which is really interesting for multiple reasons. So we learned today, quote, DEA agents stationed abroad attended sex parties that were allegedly funded with money from drug cartels, according to a Justice Department report released Thursday. The misconduct occurred for several years while the special agents held top secret clearances. DEA equipment and information may also have been compromised. They say the DEA inspector told the inspector general that it was, quote, common for prostitutes to be present at business meetings involving cartel members and foreign officers. So what we're learning is the DEA is basically acting like the Secret Service did. Which leads to the deeper question, is this happening at every government agency? Like, are they having wild orgies at the EPA and the IRS also? Like, are they doing your taxes as they're getting blown? And where can I apply for a government agency job? <laughs> no, the thing that's so interesting about this story is not even that aspect of it, not even the sex aspect of it. But, who's funding it? I, I don't know if you heard my line there at the beginning here. From the article, they say it was allegedly funded with money from drug cartels. The articles I read on this... They, like, they all mentioned that, but then they didn't go into further detail or the speculation on it or, or why that's being alleged. They just, like, mentioned it and moved on to, like, and, oh, the misconduct that they did. Tisk tisk. Oh, they had sex. How terrible are they? No, I don't give a fuck about that part. What I care about is drug cartels are funding it? Do you realize what the fuck Pandora's box this opens here? Because then the conversation is, all right, so apparently drug cartels are funding the DEA. Well, why would they be funding the DEA? I mean, I would guess they're funding the DEA so that their specific drug cartel can get away with pushing their drugs into America. How much is the, is the DEA involved in helping the drug cartels or trafficking the drugs? Or you know, how much are they involved with money involving the drug cartel? Do they work for the drug cartel in a way? Are they taking a salary? How deep does the rot go? And this reminds me of there are other stories from the past about there were allegations of the CIA being involved in the drug trade. And there were former CIA agents who were like, no, yeah, absolutely, yeah, it w there was. And of course, the ones that are in there today are like, oh, no, we would never do that. No, we're, we're straight-laced and we crack down on stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, okay. So there's some evidence the CIA was involved in the drug trade. Now we got evidence that the fucking people whose job it is to stop the drug trade, they're in on the drug trade. How deep does the rot go, and how much profit is being made by these guys, and is the government getting kickbacks from this? Is this something that's known at higher levels? Is this something that's been approved of? Is this something where it's like a, a, a money and power issue, where the DEA or certain uh, factions of the government try to get a lockdown on drug money, so that, you know, we don't legalize it, and it, it becomes something that's legalized, tax and regulated, and you have other businesses getting in on it and stuff like that? I want- that's the aspect of the story I'm fascinating by. I don't give a fuck if somebody got their pee, pee touched. I don't give a shit. I think prostitution should be legal in the first place. I mean, obviously this is a different story if, for example, there was some sort of coercion or some sort of violence or they're like sex slaves or something, then of course, but there's no indication of that in the story. So my takeaway from it is, okay, it was some guys that went to prostitutes, they're in the DEA, don't really care. But what I do care about is, how the fuck are the drug cartels involved in this? That's the biggest part of the story, and they don't discuss it at length. I, I want to always be careful when we start, you know, getting on topics that appear to be Alex Jonesy and, like, outright conspiracy-ish, right? I always want to be careful when we uh, go over into these areas. But sometimes, you have to admit, it's not like... It's not like literally every conspiracy that's ever been brought up is untrue. Uh, now, there are a lot of conspiracies that we know are not true. We know because we've discussed them at length on the show. Agenda 21 and the FEMA camps and all that bullshit. It's just not true. Obama's a Manchurian candidate. You name it. There's a trillion that are not true. But are there some that are true? I mean, the Bay of Pigs happened. The Tuskegee experiments uh, happened. Uh, there have been false flag attacks. There have been... Uh, you know, some really questionable things that went on surrounding the JFK assassination, for example. There's a lot of open questions in a lot of areas. Here we have an issue where, would I be 
totally shocked if the DEA and drug cartels are really, really in bed together and really doing business together? No, I wouldn't be. Because we know too much about how the government functions anyway.